Let's get into the rumor for the 900 watt Ada Lovelace GPU. This is coming from WCCF Tech, your favorite rumor news website. New rumors surrounding the RTX 40 series graphics card lineup, which includes the 4090, 4080, 4070, and a 900 watt flagship have been posted by Copite 7 Kimmy, who is the leaker. The rumor further details the configurations we are going to see in the upcoming lineup, along with a few prototype cards that may or may not make it to retail shelves. The only one we're really interested in is going to be this Titan class one, which would be part of their BF GPUs, like, you know, all the Titans previously. But take a look here. In fact, there is another, this is coming from Copite's Twitter. In fact, there is another full fat 8102 SKU with 900 watt TGP, 48 gigabytes of 24 gigabit per second GDDR6X and two 16 pins in a higher frequency. But no one knows whether it will become an actual product because the test board of an 8102 has more than two 16 pin connectors. So everything is possible more than two not one that goes up to 600 watts not two that goes up to a total of 600 watts but more than two i don't see this being feasible so i could see this as a test unit personally but i think that getting up to that one kilowatt range of power consumption is not feasible for uh, a a desktop lineup GPU. I could be completely wrong. And it would be really interesting to see it pop. But, uh, you know, holy crap. There's just, I, there's no other words for it. 900 watt. I mean, that's bigger. Just to like put it into perspective, that's more power required for a single GPU than most people have just the size of GPUs within their system right now like most gamers are not running <laughs> power supplies that like that are even that big right most people are not and in fact the big bad a bad a system that we're doing this stream from that runs this panel this big old samsung g9 and and cranks away it's only a thousand watt platinum power supply so I won't even really feasibly, I wouldn't even feasibly be able to plop this in. Plus, of course, no matter what, I think for the Ada Lovelace series, definitely for the 40, you know, 40 series Ada Lovelace from NVIDIA, if you're going to be plugging into a regular system, you got to go ATX 3.0. Obviously, if you're doing a mining system, I think you have to go ATX 3.0. We talked about this is going to be a requirement due to the power spikes. You'll need that extra regulation and those new standards. So, you know, if you're looking at a 40 series GPU, you're probably going to be in a hefty, hefty price range, it's especially at the top end where you're ta potentially talking about at this point needing like a 1600 to 2000 watt PSU to run the, the biggest, baddest GPU available. And it has to be an ATX 3.0. That power supply alone could easily hit a thousand dollars off the bat, especially if you're an early adopter. And then plus the price of the GPU probably easily being like at the top end, if they release this BF GPU, four grand. I think like to, to like, obviously I don't know for sure, but if I had to guess on a, an upgrade to a BFG GPU, that BF GPU that pulls one kilowatt and you get the power supply to support it. I mean, bam, you're, you're up there. You're, you're five grand in the hole. And that's it. That's probably at like MSRP. It's going to be absolutely insane and probably super cost prohibitive, especially for mining. That top one is probably not going to be worth it, but 64 gigabytes of memory is insane. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.